outside. I've, I've just ended up wandering down this deserted street because I was worried I was going to get beaten up. I'm at this easy hotel in Luton. So here we are. This is my easy hotel room. There's a bit of toffee on the television. Maybe I should give it a sniff just to... <laughs> It doesn't smell. I don't know what that was. Let's start with the quality of the towels. So on my bed, as I arrived, were four towels. Oh, but there's only three, you say. These small hand towels here, I've already used one to wash my hands because I had Luton germs all over my hands. Not bad quality towels. <sighs> and they're, they're, they're surprisingly good quality pillows. And... The bedding is surprisingly good quality. I mean, that's really, oh, that's incredibly soft. Oh, but lovely soft bedding. In fact, the bedding, it's a nice comfy bed. I can't see any marks. I, oh, let's give it another sniff. No remnants of B.O.B.O. -BO. It's a very good, comfortable bed and nice and clean. So I'm very impressed with the bed. Oh, I've mucked up all the... The pillows. Hang on, I just need to rearrange the pillows. So that's the bed. You've got these sort of spaceshipy looking things under the bed. Oh, look, they're my socks. Hello, hello. Um, this is for a suitcase, but I don't understand what this is for. What is that small one for? This is £25 a night, this hotel. The room's a bit tatty, but it's like... I mean, I would rather have a nice clean bed and a crappy room than a shiny room and dirty bedding. Think about it. And for £25, you can't really expect both. Of course, you don't have a wardrobe. What you have instead in this is this climbing frame looking contraption. And it's got a couple of nice ball balls on. I don't know what they're for because they're actually like quite big, these like golf balls on top. Oh, and I really like the bedside table. Little bedside table and, you know, thing for your phone charger. Nice plug sock. What does this do? Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Let me show you the bathroom. And the door. Oh, sparkly. So, listen. I mean, look at this beautiful orange floor. Oh, such high quality design orange floor and very clean it's it, it is actually it's, it's very clean very clean and um but yes very clean i've just been stroking my orange floor very excited about my orange floor so um this is me in the mirror hello that is a very clean toilet look Look, look, that is a spotlessly clean toilet. One toilet roll, two toilet rolls. I might take this home, you know. You've even got some single-use plastic cups. And it's a nice thermostatic shower. You know, it's one of these bar ones where you control the temperature. That's what I like. Hair and body wash for the shower and antibacterial liquid hand wash for the sink. And this is the sink. You control this thing by giving that a wiggle. And in case you hadn't forgotten you're staying in an easy hotel, they printed it on the mirror. Easy. So as you can see, there's no windows, which I think is quite a good thing because, not that I do wander around naked because I get cold, but it's like, you can wander around naked if you want to, and no one's going to see you. But let me show you the air conditioning. So, there are these... You can just feel the air gently coming out. 
And the temperature of the room is, you can't control the temperature of the room in one of these cheap rooms. You can in the more expensive rooms, but this is a cheap, 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 cheap. You can just gently feel the air. And there's, there's one there. There's one there. Oh, and there's one there. And that's it. You've, you've literally got like three. And the thing with not being able to control the temperature, when I have stayed before, I have actually asked for a heater, and reception are normally quite good at giving you a little heater, but I I, I, I feel all right tonight. I don't, I don't feel I need that. Let's go outside, and I can show you the corridor, and I can also show you... Okay, I might not make this out alive, because if I walk out the front door and show you a bit of the outside of Luton, um, I may get beaten up. Oh, a bag of the lights gone. Ow. There's no one there. going to get beaten up. This is Luton and this is a place which people said to me when I told them I was staying in Luton. They said whatever you do don't open your mouth because you'll get beaten up. Oh, there's a, there's a couple of chaps over there. Maybe they might beat me up. Oh my god. I'm just in some dark alley. You can't even see me. I'm in some dark alley. You can't, you can't see me. This is the car park I parked in, which is literally about a 30 second walk from the hotel. And it seems all right. I mean, there's no dodgy people around, but this is where I parked. And I think it's free from six o'clock onwards. So that worked out jolly nicely. It's the car park there. And then you, you literally wander down that street and it's there. So you just wander down here, really. Oh, that's a, a chef walk. I think that's my fair share of walking around Luton at night time. I'm going to go in and have some cheese and crackers, which I bought from Sainsbury's on the way. So in reception, because you don't have tea or coffee in the room, you've got these lovely vending machines. I've also been at Easy Hotels, where if you ask reception, they have local takeaway menus. Mm. Ooh, Quavers. Ooh, travel adapters. Lovely. And here's your tea and coffee machine. Yum, 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 yum. I'm, I'm completely lost. What's my room number? Oh yes, 14. But it's very confusing. Look at all these signs. I really like Easy Hotel. It's not the Ritz, it's not even Travel Lodge, but I think for the price I'm paying, £25, you know, that's a very, very good price. The room feels slightly tired, but it's like if you're coming to sleep, you're probably tired yourself, so you're kind of, you know, two as a pair, really. But the things that matter. The beds are really clean, really comfy, good quality, you know, I found it to be like good quality linen and all of that, and the bathroom's really clean, and they're the things you care about, really. Yeah, so that's that's my evening in an easy hotel. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and like and share and all of that, and I'll see you in the next video.
want to raise my voice if there's a person outside, but I can't look out my door because they see me and they might think I'm some trying to invite them in for a bit of nooky time.